Hey everyone, I need your attention for one minute. This is not one of those ads. This is something that has changed my entire life. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that this is all about personal development as the foundation for everything good in your life. And this podcast is now sponsored by Growth Day, which is the world's first all-in-one personal development app. I mean, oh my gosh, can you imagine having everything all in one place that you need to create? create the life that you want, now you can. So if you've been struggling with your motivation, your mood, your productivity, or your purpose, you have to check this out. Growth Day helps you consciously change your life and achieve your potential. It has all the self-improvement tools, motivational classes, and life coaching all in one place. So many of us want to improve our lives, but the question is how? Where do we start? What do we use? How do you get unstuck? How do you make self-improvement stick? Well, research shows how. It's when you consistently journal, track your habits, set goals, learn from empowering mentors, and challenge yourself that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful. But let me ask you something. Where do you actually do all of your personal development work? I have to tell you that over 300,000 people use Growth Day for a reason. It works. It's the world's number one software for self-improvement. Growth Day has an amazing mindset journal that I absolutely love, a habit tracker, and a goal setting system. In fact, I bet if you went to my stories this week, you probably saw me using the journaling app and telling you to do it too, because it's the first time that journaling has ever actually stuck consistently in my life because of this app. And best of all, Growth Day has live inspirational classes every single week from the world's top motivational speakers and life coaches. These are people who have impacted my life in huge ways. These are mentors who I already knew and loved. In fact, this is something that's so huge for me, you guys. I personally teach a class in Growth Day every single month, and it is one of the most fun things that I get to do, and I'd love to see you there. These classes will truly shift your life. There's always something new that you will learn. So join me in 300,000 achievers growing our lives with actual real intention. Visit growthday.com slash Lori for a free trial. Yes, you can try this for free. So go to growthday.com slash Lori and go live your best life. You guys, that's growthday.com forward slash Lori. And I can't wait to see you there. If you know you are blaming someone, your parents, your friends, your partner, whatever that is, that is giving your power away to that. Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. And it's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit an inspiration. And this is your reminder that event love prices are going up and we only have 12 spots left to fill. So if you want to go and make your 2020 the year that you have stepped into your calling. That is going to be the five-day boot camp for speakers, trainers, facilitators, and people who want to run events. So go to eventluv.com right now to go secure your spot. Like I said, they're going super fast. And I want to be in that room with you for five days in 2020, helping you become a more confident speaker, understanding how to run workshops, events, put on events, and make them profitable. You truly can have this as your career. Your calling can be your career and you can get paid for it. So you guys, I want to be the person who gets to help you do that. And on today's quickie, I just 
was in a soul cycle class yesterday. And my amazing teacher, Gina, was teaching, who I go and see on Tuesday mornings at Soul Cycle. And one of the last songs was essentially a sermon put to music, is what it sounded like. And it was so profound and so awesome that I was just bawling in the class because he was talking about how in order to live the life that you want to live, let Holy Spirit, God, energy, universe, whatever you believe guide you and heal you, you first have to be willing to let that in and have the mindset to be able to support what you want to do. Have the mindset to not blame, complain, or justify. Have the mindset to let go of the things that have happened to you. Have the mindset to be able to forgive people and forgive yourself. And I believe that that all boils down to willingness. I know there's so many things every single day that it's really easy to get our energy locked up in, to get our energy blocked up in, to grasp onto and not let go of something, to decide to stay in that painful thought and in that self-sabotaging thought and in that relationship sabotaging thought and in that belief that maybe the connection to your creator, to universe, to energy is not there because you don't feel it. And it's always there. It's always there. It's that willingness to say, wow, this beating myself up because of what I ate or what I said or what I did is not working not working. And as much as I think that it has worked before and that it makes me get to the gym and that it, you know, helps me in this relationship and that it protects me from these friendships, that's not what it is, right? That's not what it is. It's the willingness to open back up, to put that wall back down, to open up to another friendship, to open up to another relationship, to forgive, maybe even forgive with a very fierce boundary, right? You can forgive people, but they don't have to be in your life any longer. You can forgive and you can lock them out. So really looking at where in your life you're holding on to something that is blocking you. Could be something with your body that you can't uh, create. You you have trouble uh, choosing those thoughts of love and forgiveness when you do something that maybe you don't think is great or you eat things that you don't think are great or you find yourself in that sabotaging cycle. What if you were just a little bit easier on yourself and you said, okay, that happened. I love you. What would be some loving choices that I could do to love my way back to health? What are some things that I could say to myself that I could love my way back to a healthy mindset? What are some things that I could do in my mind or what are some things I could do in my life that could get me outside of these thoughts? Am I isolating myself so that when I'm alone, all of these thoughts consume me and feel like they're eating me alive? Could I go be in a class? Could I go take up a hobby that could get my mind off of this? Could I go out in nature and go on a walk and listen to a podcast? How could I choose something that is going to allow me to forgive Love more, let go, make space, create a boundary. What is that thing that I can do that is better than this feeling, this thought, this situation that I'm in right now? What is the mindset that I would need in order to get through this thing that I am going through? What is the mindset that I would need in order to get through this thing that I am going through? Because if you know that you're holding on to a... Uh, a, a negative thought, if you know you're holding on to a story, if you know you are blaming someone, your parents, your friends, your partner, whatever that is, that is giving your power away to that. So today I just want you to look and say, what am I giving my power to? And don't judge it. Don't say, oh my God, see, this is the mindset that's keeping me from being the person that I want to be. You then observe it and say, okay, what would be the opposite of this? Or what would start to change where I'm at and change how I'm feeling? Because I truly believe, and I know because I'm watching it in my life, 
that if we can change our mindset and our beliefs around who we think we are and what we think we're capable of and what happened to us and get back to a place of power by saying, yes, that happened, but now I get to choose what I make of it. Yes, I might feel like I'm not smart enough, but I can learn as I go and I can let go of that thought and say, I will figure it out. That is the mindset I will choose is that everything is figure outable. I will leap and figure it out. So right now, I just want you to think about the mindset that you feel might be holding you back. Is it blaming someone? Is it a belief around something? And just see what it would feel like to really lean in to the opposite. What would it feel like to really lean into the opposite mindset? And what is it? Just say it out loud, whether you're in your car, you're on a walk, you're in the grocery store, just be that crazy person and say out loud so you can feel it in your body. What would the mindset be? Or what would the thing be? Or what would you need to do in order to start getting your power back? Would that be to say, I'm going to stop blaming my parents for the way that I grew up and realize that that taught me X, Y, and Z. Say it out loud. I'm going to stop blaming my partner for believing that because they're not on a healthy journey, that I can't be on a healthy journey. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to forge ahead. I'm going to create this life for myself. And I am going to be the leader in this relationship. What is it? Say it out loud. Let yourself hear, hear yourself that you have the power. It's a really powerful place to be, you guys. All right. I'm sending you so much love today. What I would love to see is if you upload this on your stories, if you upload this particular podcast, I really want to know what that thing is that you need to get your power back from and how will you take it back? What's that thing? that you need to get your power back from, that you've been giving it to, the thought, the mindset, the story, the belief, the person, who, what, when, where, why, and how are you going to get it back? What are you going to say? What's that mantra? What's that affirmation? What's that new mindset? What is it? Get your power back. The only way we can get it back is by adopting the mindset of no complaining, no blaming, no justifying, full ownership full ownership is where power is because that means you get to then look at it and make another choice from a much more powerful place. You guys, I'm sending you so much love today and until next time, earn your happy. Bye everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community. And everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. 
Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Want to know a huge secret to my success? Okay, not only my success, but just about every single person that I have interviewed on this podcast who is successful has this in common. You guys, they love to journal. They capture their life lessons and what they're grateful for. But a lot of people don't keep this up consistently. And most people do know that the research shows that journaling deepens your gratitude and increases self-awareness. But did you also know that journaling decreases stress and helps you achieve your goals faster? In fact, journaling is a huge differentiator between average performers at work and high performing people. It leads to longer term clarity, confidence, and success. So why don't more people journal? Why didn't I journal consistently? Honestly, they don't like staring at a blank page. It's hard to carry a book around with you or a notepad, and they just don't even know what to write about or they just forget. That's why I know that you're going to love Growth Day. It's the world's number one system for self-improvement, and it's like all-in-one personal development in an app. And it has an awesome digital journal, and people love it. Growth Day's digital journal has hundreds of research-backed writing prompts for self-reflection, positive mindset, confidence building, and success. I use them all the time, and it makes me think in ways that I typically don't, and it makes me ask myself better questions, which we all know gets better results in our life. It even has prompts that help you develop a daily, weekly, or monthly habit of reflecting on your life and identifying areas to grow. So it's a perfect time of year to start journaling, you guys. When you sign up at Growth Day, you also get systems for habit tracking, goal setting, and scoring and improving every area of your life. Best of all, I get to teach there too, you guys. I'm so excited. I hope that I get to see you. I teach live in Growth Day every single month with a new topic just for you. So join me there. Start your free trial at growthdate.com slash Lori. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back. And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. 
then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com.